you weren't born and raised in Chicago, but many people like myself consider you to be a Chicago actor. Why would oh, that be? Oh, wait a second. I was born in Chicago. You were? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were born. Well, do you want to start over? No, no. I'm, let's keep it organic. Okay. I was born in Chicago, Michael Reese Hospital. Were you really? Yeah. I did not know that. I apologize. Yeah. And you're sort of one of my best friends, and that uh, just says cool. a lot about our relationship. Whatever. And uh, I grew up, uh, born in the city, and then grew up in Evanston, and then mostly Will Met, Cubs fan. <laughs> Chicago Cubs. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah. Let's just make that clear, because otherwise. Yeah, because some of us are Sox fans, and some of us love baseball, and some of us love the Cubs. Some of us love both. Right. That would some be me. Us, right, and some of us just enjoy the cups. <laughs> you didn't know this was going to happen, but you're actually wearing a Chicago 2016 hat. I am. You represent? I am, I'm representing, yes. In L.A., even though, or did you know I was coming? I, well, I knew you were here, but I also have been enjoying wearing this hat in New yeah. York. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So you I'm trying to wear it everywhere. Both coasts so far. Yes. And how does the theater scene in Chicago differ from other things that you've experienced? Well, I think Chicago has uh, got a great community. You know, it's very um, soulful. You have people supporting all of the arts and uh, artists supporting each other and uh, great patrons of the arts. And it's just, you know, it's such a good town and there is such a high level of, of work there that it, I think that's why it's got such a good reputation. And how does Looking Glass Theater play into that whole story? Well, Looking Glass, I was lucky enough to meet uh, my Looking Glass compatriots back in 1990. After I saw when you worked at Boogie's, when I worked at Boogie's Diner, which is now the <laughs> Diesel Store, uh, yeah, worked at Boogie's for about four years. But and, it was uh, once Boogie's with rhinestones on jean jackets that you used to wear when you used to serve French fries. Nope, nope, never wore a rhinestone jacket. Uh, Looking Glass, you know, they were doing amazing theater, uh, and we still do. And um, I befriended, yeah, some of my best friends in the world are are Looking Glassians. And you're coming back leaving this beautiful weather, although we have beautiful weather every summer in Chicago, That's true. to come back to the city to be in... I'm going to do a play called Animal Crackers, not at Looking Glass, but at the Goodman Theater. And it's a musical, and it uh, was originally a musical on stage in New York that the Marx Brothers did, mm -hmm. and then they made it into a film of the same name, and now we're doing the musical version of it again. And this is your first professional musical. Yes. <laughs> and you have a dance that you've been practicing in front of me for the last 24 hours, which you will show me now. No, I don't think so. It's been, please, I've been working on a little bit of a please, garage show dance. Please. All right, all right, ready for this? <laughs> this is for real. I don't know if it's you guys can all watch this part if you want. I don't know if it's gonna be... Just do it, just do it, it's awesome. <laughs> when does it open in Chicago? It opens um, September 28th. It starts previews September 18th, but um, October 2nd, coincidentally, is when the Olympic Committee decides, hopefully, fingers crossed, Chicago will be the host city. Which is great, because there's nothing really special happening on October 2nd, ever. You know, no, you know, it's weird. It's my birthday, October 2nd. You know who else's birthday is October 2nd? My mom. And Groucho Marx. What do you think people from around the world they'll love the most? The people. Midwesterners, they're down to earth, they're fun, they're welcoming, they're kind. What ticket will you be dying for when the Olympics come here in 2016? I'll probably want to watch some of the rowing if it's uh, in Lincoln Park, if it's in the uh, lagoon. Uh, I look forward to the um, uh, the new Olympic Willis Tower. You know, it's called Willis Tower now. It's not called Sears Tower. I know it is difficult. Uh, the Sears Tower, when they jump off for the um, parachute jump, which will be a, that's a new category. <laughs> you you could probably Olympic compete in event. that. Yeah, it's a new Olympic event. By also the way, the Cubs tickets. What would you do, speaking of the Cubs and Willis, if Wrigley Field was now called something else field? I don't think I can answer that question because my head will explode. What else is it going to be called? It could be called Looking Glass Field if Looking Glass flipped the bill for Wrigley Field and the Cubs. I feel very confused about that. If they allowed you to call it Slotnik Field, would you let that happen? Yeah. <laughs> okay.